Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about black holes. Give this video a like and click on the bell to know more about my videos. So, let's move to so-called Let's move to some stellar black hole. Astronomers my uh, found out and captured a black hole which is 1,000 light years away, just around the corner. They found it when they, when they found a star behaving weirdly. It was a giant, rotating like crazy. They, they might have guessed that the, this, this star might have a powerful gravitational opponent. Hello everyone, it's me Felix here. Today I'm going to talk about black holes. So, let's move to some stellar black holes. Stellar black holes weigh tens of solar masses. But don't forget that our sun weighs not millions of pounds. That's so much, guys. The smallest black hole that astronomers have found so far is two to four times heavier than the sun. It's larger than some counties on Earth. Recently, we, I, I, we managed to capture some two black holes. 17 billion light years away from us. Uh, they will emerge. Someday they might be emerge. But right now these guys are speeding around each other. And well, uh, like crazy. But And while they do that, they release a crazy amount of energy. Now let's move to a so-called intermediate mass black holes. See, just eating a few stars isn't enough. Uh, to become larger in size, black holes must either absorb a lot of stars or more often emerge with another black hole. But... Now let's move to the, some serious stuff. Supermassive black holes, giant, inspicable monsters that which are, I mean, inspicable monsters that which are millions of billions of times bigger than our sun. And, Although these guys sound super scary, they are not very large in diameter. Like, in the center of our Milky Way, there's a black hole named Sagittarius A. It has 4 million solar massives, but it's still quite small, only 17 times bigger than this. And Sagittarius A is pretty nice and calm. If we replaced this black hole with the sun, it would not even have reached the orbit of Mercury. <laughs> oh wow, that sounds super funny for me. Now, now, but now let's move to the real titans of the universe. Ultra-massive black holes, giant, inspicable monsters, that which are billions of billions times bigger than our sun. So... They spotted a black hole that which is an ultra massive black hole. It's called OJ287. It, it, it is in the center of our galaxy. 
It's so massive that it has another black hole orbiting it. And finally, we, we move to the largest object in the universe, TON618, the almighty destroyer of worlds. It has this that would shine brighter like the other ultramassive black hole. And and it's it, their dra and it, the same gravity uh, and lay quasars that which come around them like the other black hole OJ two eight seven. I remember we talked about the fact that superman that uh, supermassive black holes can swallow entire galaxies, but these these black holes don't just devour. Uh, their host galaxies, but literally everything in their path. What astronomers managed to find a picture where it looked ten billion years ago, but what does it look now? It's probably millions of billions times bigger. And so how? And since TON and the quasar uh, orbiting TON618 shines brighter than one trillion stars, it's so its light is so powerful that it's even reached us. Reached us since TON618 is so far away, its light reaches us for a long time. So what we see is how this black hole looked when the universe was born. But what, what, what does it look like now? Okay. There's, it has no idea. Oh, thank you for watching the video. And give a like down if you've seen a black hole. And if before you become a space traveler, remember this. Stay on the bright side and watch the... Felix and Feeble channel for more conversation. Bye!